Hey guys, I just got back from the 2024 Consumer Electronics Show. Every year at CES, we've seen manufacturers reimagine devices and give us form factors that veer away from the boring and the old. This year is no different, from lights to laptops to trailer trucks. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the interesting people I get to meet along the way. So if you like cutting edge tech, give this channel a like and subscribe, and I'll help you find the right gadget to match your needs. This is the Gadget Match Best of CES. 2024 edition. When you think of projectors, you're probably thinking of something rectangular, bulky, and plasticky. Well, one of my favorite projector companies, XJimmy, not only wants to change how projectors look like, they also want to drive the industry forward with devices that do not break the bank. At CES, we got to see two new projectors that do exactly that. The Horizon Max is the world's first IMAX-enhanced home projector, a certification only previously achieved by professional projectors costing over $10,000. Well, XJimmy is bringing that tech to the consumer market at just under $3,000. It's got dual light 2.0 engine, which combines a tricolor laser and phosphor light sources to achieve brighter, more accurate pictures and a comfortable viewing experience. It's the brightest home projector I've personally seen at 3,100 lumens. To put it simply, with the Horizon Max, you can recreate a true cinema experience at home. It's also got Intelligent Screen Adaptation 5.0 with features like auto keystone correction, autofocus, intelligent obstacle avoidance, and new and exclusive to XJimmy is a 360 degree fully automated motorized gimbal. What it does is it intelligently recognizes the best wall for the projection, which is great if you have an open space and want to be able to watch your favorite TV shows and movies in different parts of the room. It also remembers settings for specific walls. Everything is automatic. At this year's CES, XJimmy also showed us the Aladdin, which is not only a projector, but also a circular ceiling lamp with Harman Kardon speakers built in. I love this one because if you live in a small apartment, you won't have multiple devices taking up so much space. Your light fixture and home entertainment system are all installed in one spot of your ceiling instead. Of course, because it's up there and you can't reach, what if you want to connect a device? Well, you'll need this dongle which will wirelessly talk to the projector up there and can connect a gaming console like the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Time to go? I'm having too much fun. Speaking of space, coming soon on Kickstarter is Ugreen's NASSYNC series their first network storage solution. Available in multiple configurations, Ugreen NASSYNC supports two, four, six, and eight bay drives, or an all SSD model. Up to 184 terabytes of storage capacity and dual M.2 slots for fast caching. Higher spec models also have two dual 10 gigabit Ethernet ports that can be aggregated, providing 20 gigabytes of bandwidth. Two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a micro SD card slot, and HDMI for 8K video output. Lastly, a dedicated app for quick and easy remote access. Ugreen also showed us their Revo Dock series, a combination of hubs and docking stations with upgraded cooling systems for high-speed data transfers, high-speed charging, and connecting a single 8K monitor or two 4K monitors. Out of all of them, my favorite is the foldable 5-in-1. It works as a laptop riser, but has multiple ports built in. When not in use, it folds flat, like so. There was so much to see. At the Samsung booth this year, a preview of transparent micro LEDs still to come, but hold a lot of promise when it comes to data-rich viewing experiences. This is a 3D gaming monitor that doesn't require 3D glasses. And glare-free technology now comes to high-end Samsung OLED TVs, reducing reflections from light sources like brightly lit windows. But my favorite Samsung device at CES is the perfect complement to my favorite Samsung TV, 
the frame. Can you see it? Where are the speakers on the frame? Sure, there's a sound bar underneath, but what if I told you the photo frame on the left is a speaker too. That's right. This is the new Samsung Music Frame. Customizable speakers that are designed to seamlessly blend in with your decor. Just like a Samsung B Frame TV, the Music Frame can camouflage as a work of art, all while delivering incredible sound. They've even got woofers built in. They can operate as standalone speakers or pair with any 2024 Samsung TV and soundbar. After collecting all those steps, this new Pokemon has evolved. Check out my new wings, courtesy of Govi, and we're about to check out their booth today. I loved seeing all these Govi products work together in every section of their booth. It felt like walking through an immersive light show. We got to check out their gaming room, where Govi's AI Dream View brings all the different products together. It automatically recognizes and triggers lighting effects depending on actions in the game you're playing. These hexagon light panels were mesmerizing, especially when set up this way. And these yet to be released lights have such a unique design. The bedroom showcase was equally stunning. My two-year-old nephew will love the Galaxy Light Projector Pro, which as its name suggests, projects galaxies and stars onto the wall or ceiling. Also coming soon, the Table Lamp 2 Pro and the Floor Lamp Pro create such a vibe in my bedroom and double as Bluetooth speakers. Now this has got to be my new favorite Govi light. This is the Neon Rope Light version 2. It's softer, so it's easier to kind of bend and create the shapes that you want, but the best part is inside the Govi Home app. With a feature called shape mapping, you can take a picture of the shapes that you have built, and then you can assign different colors to the different segments of the rope light. Last but not the least, coming very soon to the Govi Home app is a new feature called Lighting Bot, where they use generative AI to create scenes based on your commands. Let's try it. I'd like a summer afternoon at the beach kind of vibe. This is what LightingBot has recommended. I'm gonna go say, of course I'd like that. And this is the result. It might still be a Christmas tree, but it's definitely looking a little more tropical to me. Let's do something a little more obvious. I'd like a Barbie movie themed lighting effect. LightingBot is recommending a pink and sparkly lighting effect that will transport us to the world of Barbie movies. Of course, give me that pink lights. Look at that. Which Govi product caught your attention? Let me know in the comments section below. As one can expect, LG also had a lot of cool devices at their booth this year. From a hybrid jukebox with a transparent screen to a coffee maker. Duobo is a dual capsule extraction system, allowing you to layer different types of coffee so you can make your own blend. It's easy to use. And on the app, you can adjust the temperature, the amount of water, and the ratio of each capsule you're using. Love glamping? Well, you probably love LG's take on a trailer truck. Of course, it has basic things like a queen-sized bed, a shower, kitchen with its own duobo, a regular fridge on the side, but on the back, it's also got a full bar setup, including a wine fridge, cocktail shaker and glasses, even a karaoke machine. There's also an LG styler to refresh your clothes and a display on the door for basic information like internal temperature and the weather. At this year's CES, the trend seems to be transparent displays. And of all the ones we saw, it's the LG version that you can already buy later this year. The signature OLED OLED T is the world's first 4K wireless transparent TV. It connects to the internet via the Zero Connect box for that minimal setup. The idea is to have a TV that doesn't disrupt the design of your home, or say, maybe you have a beautiful view of the Manhattan skyline, but no place to put your TV but by the window. As a big fan of the iPad and the Kindle, I love what TCL is doing 
with its Next Paper tablets. Now in its third generation, Next Paper technology is more vibrant, but still non-reflective. Not only do you get uninterrupted viewing, it's also great for reducing harmful blue light. The new Next Paper 14 Pro drops later this year and comes with three modes, including color and grayscale. And as a note taker, I must say it was super comfortable to write on also. For the ultimate dual monitor setup on the go, the ZenBook Duo 2024 from ASUS is one to check out. On laptop mode, it looks like your ordinary 14-inch laptop with its integrated keyboard, but when you take it off, you'll see a second 14-inch display that's just as good as the primary screen. Thanks to its built-in kickstand, you can use it multiple ways, whether you're working or playing games. We're here at the Toros booth where they made it their mission to usher phone cases into the stand case era. Perfect timing that we're here at the Toros booth because I dropped my iPhone and I cracked my screen protector. But I'm really good at replacing my screen protector because Toros makes it very easy. And at least I've done it once or twice before for a video. So first, let's peel off this old guy and let me unbox a new set. It comes in a set like this, two screen protectors. So if you drop it and break it, you have it in another one. And then this is like the uh, handy dandy installing tool. Gonna have to do that first, remove some of this dirt and grime. So let's start with the wet wipe. So like I'm cleaning it and then I use this cloth to dry it. And notice there's going to be some dust, no worries. That's what this is for. Just dab it on like so. There, all good. All you have to do is click it in and then magically finishes the job for me. I'm done, but we'll have to ask the expert to inspect. What yeah, do you think? This is pretty good. This is perfect. For you. <laughs> so can I work for Toros now? Yeah, definitely. Come work for us. <laughs> if you need your screen protector installed, I can do it for you. Of course, for utmost security, I think it's safer that I use one of these cases, now I'm fully protected. And because we're at the Toros booth, we get an exclusive. This is the Coolify Cyber. It's not out in the market today yet, but it's going to be more powerful. It has a larger back plate, so it's going to be colder and it's going to cool you even better. So I'm not wearing a belt bag. This is called the Coolify Zone waist fan. I can feel the cold air coming up and cooling my face. So if you don't want this kind of form factor, don't want to have to wear it around your neck, you can wear something like this instead. Walk around your house or maybe on a hot day, even take it running. Taking some of the technology that they use in Coolify, they've actually built that into a three-in-one wireless charger. You know, I always talk about how wireless charging creates heat and that takes a toll on battery. It also slows down charging. Well, now you have that same cooling sensation that you get with Coolify, cooling down your devices as you charge. There's also a charger for your Apple Watch and you can actually remove it like so. And back here, a charger for your AirPods. Toras has been up to a lot this year, including partnerships with MTV in Japan and even the NBA. Check out these custom cases in Coolify for the Dallas Mavericks. Next up, we're here at Charge, the makers of this insanely cool transparent power bank, the Shark Geek 170. Here at the show, they have two new devices that we've come to check out. First up is Charge Disk, an SSD enclosure for M.2 NVMe SSD. Look how tiny it is. All you have to do is slide this open and slide in a card, and you've got the ultimate storage solution for your everyday carry. For an added layer of protection, it also comes with this bumper, and I love how this lanyard turns into a cable. Always running out of power on the go? Well, this is the new Charge Flow Mini, a 5,000 milliamp hour power bank the size of a tube of lipstick. Currently, it's set to USB-C, but you can easily just pop it out like so. Pop in another one with lightning. Now this lanyard over here is actually a built-in cable and you can pull it out like so. 
and now you can charge two devices at the same time. Both the Charge Disc and the Charge Flow Mini are available today for $59.99 and $39 respectively. And if you order at charge.com, you get 10% off your order. At CES 2024, I finally got my hands on Clix, the new keyboard case for your iPhone. And Pet Project by my creator buddy Michael Fisher, aka the Mr. Mobile and tech journo turned entrepreneur Blackberry Kevin. Before the iPhone, there was the Blackberry. And the question I was curious to answer, after getting used to typing on glass, will I want to switch back to a physical keyboard? The answer at first was maybe not. This is hard, but I stuck with it. And in just 20 minutes, I was already typing like a pro. Having a dedicated physical keyboard frees up all the space that a virtual keyboard takes up. For example, I can see my entire Insta story as I brainstorm a fun caption. But for me, the value of a keyboard was unlocking hidden shortcuts that are already built into my favorite apps, like pressing the space bar to scroll through pages on Safari or Command N to create new to-dos on things, my favorite to-do app. But this is just scratching the surface, and I'm sure this will open up many new ways to be productive on an iPhone. Right now, Clix comes in two colors, Bumblebee and London Sky. But other fun colors and keyboard combinations might also be coming soon, and we got a sneak peek of that. A model with a lightning pin for the iPhone 14 Pro will retail for $139 and drops on February 1st. The iPhone 15 Pro version with USB-C ships mid-March, and Clix for iPhone 15 Pro Max is $159 and is coming mid-spring. Last but definitely not least, we had a sneak peek at the Realme 12 Pro ahead of its launch later this month. It boasts of the largest telephoto periscope sensor on a smartphone today, and a gorgeous design inspired by a luxury watch. Its camera module has this golden fluted bezel, just like a classic watch. It comes with a leather-like finish in white, and my favorite, blue. Pricing and availability have yet to be announced, so stay tuned for that. And that was our roundup of Gadget Match's best of CES 2024. We've got a lot more videos coming your way. It's a busy January, so make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we publish. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff and for news and updates, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.